Welcome back. And here we go with some essay writing. So we are still on the topic of planning your organizational message and communication. The learning units that will be covered in this lesson is learning in the 4.1, which is discuss the characteristics, types, and the basic structures of essays by applying examples and scenarios. And learning unit 4.2, which is writing an essay using the correct procedures and structures for a given scenario. Let's start off and have a look at the different types of business essays that we are that we fi will find. And remember, we are not talking about the essay that you wrote in school. So this is not giving you a topic and you have to go and write a thousand word about words about it. These are business documents. When we say essay, we are referring to business documents that you are going to be using throughout your business career. The first type of business essay that we get is an argumentative document. And this is where you are arguing for or against something. Then we have a cause and effect business essay. And here you want to show, show your reader that something happened and it led to certain other things happening. Then we have our expository. And here you want to expose, as the word says, expository, expose something. So you are either exposing the way something is working or exposing information that was not uh, available, maybe a new way to claim your insurance. Then we have persuasive. So here you want to convince your reader, your audience to do something. Then we have research. So here we have discovered a topic, we have looked at a topic, and we are giving results or the findings that we have received from doing the research. And then lastly, a review. So this might be the analysis of your business reports. So looking at the results of the year's finance, financials and then explaining them to the reader. The structure of a basic essay is definitely not completely new to you. You start off with an introduction, and in the introduction here, you will give your thesis statement. Your thesis statement could also be your problem statement, and the main ideas that will be discussed. Then you start with different paragraphs, and each paragraph will have their own topic and their own supporting sentences, and you'll end it off with a conclusion where you restate the problem that you initially stated. So you restate your thesis, thesis statement and you restate the main points that you have visited throughout the essay. The procedure for writing your essay is made up of three easy steps. First, you have to plan it. And I'm going to show you a structure of planning in a few seconds. Then you need to write it. And then you need to complete it by doing your editorial, um, editing, spell checking, and making sure that someone reads it for the logic of your writing. So when we start with planning, it is very important that we analyze our topic. We need to make sure that we really understand the topic that we are going to be writing about, and that we include all the elements to make a full document, a concise document at the end of the day. Then you go and you gather your information and you put them together with your elements and make sure that you um, check your sources for reliability and credibility. And lastly, you organize your information. So here you're going to structure your paragraphs and you can use a spider diagram, mind map, skeleton outlines, whichever suits, suits your needs better. Here, just an example of how you could be planning your document, your essay. This is by no means the only way to go. Um, often I make use of spider diagrams and they work wonderfully for me as well. Now you start the physical writing. So in your introduction, you introduce your topic with your thesis statement 
you give your points that will be included in this view and summarize those main ideas. You write the body, making sure that only, every paragraph only has one topic, only one main idea. So that will help you to not make your paragraphs too long and difficult to read. And then finally, you get to the conclusion where you sum up your thesis points, you sum up those main points that you have touched on. And in your conclusion, very importantly, you never introduce new information. So in the conclusion, you should never introduce information that have not been included in the body of your writing. You are only summarizing what you have said. Finally, you are completing your document. So here you go and revise and evaluate your content's readability. Give it to someone else to read as well. Often, once we have read a document so many times, we tend to read what we want to read and not what is really written. Then make sure that you edit it. Um, and then lastly, make sure that you have stayed on topic, that your arguments are the ones that are required to make the statement or the, fulfill the purpose of the document that you are writing. In essay writing, you have two checklists that you can use to check yourself. The first is checking your content. So here to make sure that you have enough content, that you have all the necessary information, that your information is appropriate and that it follows in a logical manner, that it is relevant and necessary, that you have made valid arguments and statements and that you have provided evidence for claims that you have made, that you have sufficient evidence to support what you have written and that you have good quality evidence. The next uh, checklist will then check your editorial aspects. So checking your structure, you make sure that your introduction introduces the topic that your, your problem statement is suitable to what you are trying to write, that you have covered the main points, that each of the paragraphs only include one idea, that you don't have repetition of ideas, that your writing flows throughout, uh, your conclusion finishes off, and that no new ideas are introduced in your conclusion. And students, be ready to make use of these checklists where you might be given a paper and asked to evaluate the paper based on the two checklists of an essay. That is it for me for today. Please continue with the lessons on writing in, uh, the business essays and the different types of business essays and enjoy your final uh, activity.